Hi you guys, it's Devin K the model. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's staying good, happy, positive, and productive. So you guys, okay, so for today's video, you guys, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to do a natural smoky eye. So whenever I do my smoky eye, I always um, make it like too extreme, too dark, or I do it where like I'm going out, so like to the club or out to like a fancy dinner. So I'll do it really, really heavy. And so I wanna do like a model version of a smoky eye that looks more natural. So this is the eyeshadow palette that we're gonna use. It's called Not So Neutral um, True Color from Avon. I've probably had this palette for about four or five years and I still haven't used it up. So we're gonna go ahead and use this. So let's get into the tutorial, you guys. Um, I'll probably do the rest of it as a voiceover so I'm not just being boring and wasting your time. So yeah, thanks for joining me. Okay, you guys, so first step, we are going to prime my eyelids. I'm going in with my NYX Nude Beige Concealer, and I'm just going to get that over both of my eyelids so my eyeshadow sticks. I have super greasy eyelids, so I have to do a lot of priming before I apply eyeshadow. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I'm just showing you my palette and the colors that I'm using. I'm using a gold, a, like a bronzy brown color, and then black, of course, because we're doing a black smoky eye. So I'm going in with my gold, and I'm just patting it on there and just rubbing it in. I'm going to do this to both of my eyes for this clip. So I'm going to shut up now and just let you guys enjoy the video. So now we're going to go in with that little bronzy brown color that I told you about. We're going to apply it to our crease and do the C. Um, for this one, I kind of did it a little different. I think I started in like the corner of my eye. So not like the outside corner. Corner. I started like in the middle and I brought it like towards my nose. Um, just to make sure you can really see that brown color and that like I don't do my black smoky eye too extreme. I don't know you guys. I'm just trying to do this a little different to see if I can get the smoky eye to come out like more natural. <laughs> so you guys bear with me, okay? <laughs> I just hope this video helps you out. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so it is time. Oh my gosh, it is time to go in with our black to create the smoky eye look. First of all, you guys, I am so nervous. I am so scared that I am going to mess up. That I'm gonna put too much on. So I went and found a really, really small eyeshadow brush and like the really smooth flat one so I can just kind of pat it in there and really get it in the corner and so that I'm not pulling it onto like my eyebrow bone too far because I noticed that's one of the things that I do that make it look crazy. And this is me just going in with more black, um, trying to make it darker, but not too dark. So just going in, adding some more color. Okay. 
Okay, you guys, so we're starting on our other eye. I'm literally repeating the exact same process for the other eye. I'm using the exact same brush so I can get the same effect. Okay, you guys, so literally at this point, I'm just being picky. So I'm just going in, looking over both my eyes. Um, if I see somewhere where I need to add a little more, touch it up, making sure I feel like I have enough coverage because we're gonna go in and we're gonna start blending this bad boy to get our smoky eye look. So far, so good, you guys. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I was just showing you the brush. So I'm using my eyeshadow brush and it's like super, super fluffy. So I felt like it would be a good brush to blend my smoky eye because it's not like too big. So I won't accidentally like drag it too far up my brow bone and then like have to go in and add more color. And then like it's too dark, it's too extreme. So I'm just using this small eyeshadow brush and it actually worked out perfectly, you guys. It gave me like the exact look I was going for. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, you guys, so I told you I was doing this a different way to see like if it would help it look more natural. So like now that I blended the black eyeshadow and have that corner of my eye like blended, I'm going in in my C crease and I'm blending the brown into the black section. So that area looks more smooth as well. So I'm just doing a little blendy blendy to get everything looking clean and smooth and beautiful like yours truly <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I'm just coming in and showing you a little close-up close-up before I clean up under and around my eyes. So this is my finished look. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, so now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna clean up my eyes and around them and under them with a wet wipe and then I'm gonna take a Q-tip, I'm gonna get a little lotion on there and I'm gonna clean up like the crease area and so I can get a nice cut clean finish for the black for my smoky eye and just make sure it's not bleeding into like my cheekbones or anything like that. Okay, you guys, so now what I'm doing is I'm getting ready to put on some liquid eyeliner. Um, the whole reason I did the eyeliner was because I was going to put lashes on, but I ran out of lash glue. So I think I explained that to you guys in the next clip, but that's why I didn't do my lashes. Um, and that was really the only reason I put the eyeliner on because I was going to wear lashes. So, yeah. <laughs> smoky eye which i feel like i did achieve it so we can just go in with some more mascara um this is my favorite mascara dragon lash queen v studio and just apply some of that because really i don't wear lashes for length i just wear lashes for volume because i have super super long um lashes already so i'm just gonna go in with some of this mascara and then i'm gonna set my face um those of you who have been following me on youtube like i didn't show me applying my makeup because I already have like tons of tutorials on how I do my makeup, how I contour, all that stuff. So I'm just going to go in, apply some mascara, show you guys the finished look. <laughs> Okay.
Okay, you guys, so we just finished putting on mascara. So this is me being my little vain self, looking at myself, making sure I'm cute, and I want more glam and glitter. So I'm going in with my gold highlighter stick that I got from Macy's Backstage, and I'm just adding that to the top of my cheekbones to give, you, give me more glow and a little dewy look. And now I'm gonna go in for lips. This is Revlon Color Stay Satin Lip Stain in Citrine Queen. This stuff is so good. It's literally my favorite lip color till, um, I don't know, probably till summertime. Like, I love it. It goes so good with my skin. And I got it complimentary in a Vox box from Influencer. And I did do a review on it. So I'll post the link in here for you guys. So, oh my God, we're done. Yay. doing a natural looking black smoky eye um which i really have to like get back into the habit of practicing my makeup for my modeling because sometimes i don't have a makeup artist so it's all on me so i wanted to practice a really natural smoky eye um let me know how i did you guys i really really want to engage with you and get your feedback and if you guys think i did a crap job tell me so i can get better like i want all the feedback good bad negative positive i'm just trying to improve myself and be the best that i can be so this is the finished look you guys i'm gonna come in for a close-up Enjoyed this video and bye from your girl Devin K the model.